In thinking about acute pancreatitis, it's important to realize that there are a lot of different causes that all converge on a very similar pathophysiology. Now, things can, can get quite confusing. However, if we remember that regardless of the cause, essentially the same end result will occur, we'll be okay. So to keep in mind that regardless of the cause of acute pancreatitis, we will get a very similar pathological progression, the main components to keep in your mind are that various insults will lead to damage of the pancreas, which in turn will lead to enzyme release from the cells that make up the parenchyma of the pancreas. And remember, of course, the pancreas is very, very important in digesting food. These same enzymes that normally digest food will be released in an uncontrolled manner from the pancreas, and this can in turn lead to autodigestion, where these enzymes literally will digest the pancreas itself, in turn giving us a state of necrosis. Now, the necrosis that occurs is often of the pancreas itself, but it can quite realistically spread to other tissues as well, and lead to their di digestion too. So in sum, a lot of different insults, and some of the big ones, such as gallstones, which can lead to reflux of pancreatic enzymes, and also alcohol abuse, both can cause this similar pathophysiology, which ultimately manifests in acute pancreatitis. Now, in thinking a little bit about the clinical presentation, we can appreciate that someone with acute pancreatitis is going to be oftentimes in severe abdominal pain, sometimes in the upper quadrants given the location of the pancreas, but even in certain instances, based upon where the necrosis is, it can spread to the periumbilical region as well. So in a patient that we have a clinical suspicion of acute pancreatitis, we can take their blood and look for particular enzymes in their serum to help us confirm our suspicions. And two big ones that are looked at often are amylase and lipase. These are pancreatic enzymes. And lipase is a little bit more specific to acute pancreatitis. And the elevation of these enzymes in the serum will be very suggestive of a scenario where the pancreatic tissue is destroyed and these enzymes have been released and are present in the serum. Ultimately, to confirm our diagnosis, we will do some type of imaging, either ultrasound or a CT scan, which can help reveal the presence of an exudative pancreatitis where edema, which is caused due to inflammatory means, will actually be visualized around the pancreatic tissue. Once we have confirmed our suspicions and the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis, the treatment is going to be very tailored to the specific underlying cause. However, there are a few things that most patients with acute pancreatitis can benefit from, and that really is IV fluids, as well as either oral or IV nutrition. And this is to keep uh, the blood pressure, kidney function, and really the nutrient electrolyte levels stable in the patient as they're dealing with the acute pancreatitis.